Hello, this is Trevor Lewis with another quick video from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. This one's about how to save your work in Inkscape, both for the laser and not for the laser. So this project is a project that has some appeal as vector graphics, but also could be used for the laser. Um, so I have these holes and there's a bunch of layers of them. Um, you can see right here that they're much larger than a standard sheet of paper, which is probably this size over here. You can see up here that this has been saved in the past because there's a name there. You can also see that I've made some changes because there's an asterisk there. So if I choose save, it will save it wherever I have it saved right now. Um, if I'm not sure where that is, save as is always a good option. And you can see that I've got a spot for it here. But I can always go into libraries and save it in your documents, someplace where you can find it. Um, if you're not sure, you can also sometimes get to your downloads or you can go to your desktop. Um, you can find a place, maybe make a folder, um, it, make sure you've got a good name on it so you can identify it later. And I always save as an Inkscape SVG because that will allow me to edit it. The other file type that we use is the AutoCAD DXF version 14 it's called it's right here desktop cutting plotter it's the longest one on the list it depends on what version of inkscape you have as to where it is on the windows version it's about halfway down right here so i can save this as a dxf project now when i do that this is just instructions it's just pathways so i need to make sure that i save, save with the correct unit our laser speaks millimeters so i always save in millimeters now, if i save it like that it's only going to save the lines and it won't save any of the fill. So if I was to try and close this right now, it's going to remind me that I have not saved this as an Inkscape SVG. Now I might have, but I've saved it as a DXF most recently. And if you were paying attention, you'll notice I did not save it as an Inkscape SVG. So it's always really important to save as an Inkscape SVG as well. I always use the same name and save it in the same folder. That way I don't get confused as to which one is which. And you can see that I closed it now and now I have this fake assignment and I can submit it here. Make sure you pay attention in the assignment as to which file I need. Do I need the SVG? Do I need the DXF? Or do I need both? The SVG shows me everything. The DXS only shows me the path, but that's what the laser uses. So if this was just to be used in the laser, what I would do is I would go to my desktop, which is where I saved it, and then I would be looking for that DXF, and I'd really want to know what the name of it was. So it's important that you remember these things. It's also important that you check the time and date stamp and make sure it's the most recent file. So if I turn in the DXF file like this, I could put a comment in here and press submit. But I would say sometimes that's not good enough. And let me show you why sometimes that's not good enough. Here I've opened up the SVG again so I can actually make some changes if I made a mistake. Let me open the DXF file. When I open the DXF file, these are not native files for Inkscape, so you can see that I have to bring them in as an import. And when I import them in, what you'll see is I'm going to lose all of the fill data, so the, the colors on the inside, and I'm only going to get line data. In addition, all of, I left all of those lines on top of each other. So this is not very good for me to cut in the laser. I'd really want to cut out each one of those individually. Not only that, but each segment of the lines are now separated out, which is really, really, really hard to edit. There is a way of fixing this if you've made a mistake, but mostly the best way to fix it is to use the SVG file. That's why we always save two. So if I was going to really export this for the laser, I'd want to separate out all of these different files, and I would want to delete the parts that I don't want and I would want to maybe separate out, see these, for graphics reasons, they have squares around them so that the color is in the in-betweens instead of in the, the holes. But for line purposes, I probably actually want this to have a stroke set for a certain color. Maybe it's set to blue so I can cut through wood because that's our setting in the laser. And then I might have to come in and go to path and break it apart. And then delete the parts that I don't want. And I might need to set these up like this and spread them out so that I can cut them out separately. You're going to have to follow the instructions on the particular assignment. But now this will cut out pro properly. If I put this in, it'll just cut and cut and cut until the wood just bursts into flames. 
So sometimes there's a little bit of changes you need to make from the way you want it saved as an SVG to the way that you want it sent to the laser. Like for example, when we're making t-shirts, you probably want it turned around the right way as an SVG, but then when we're cutting it, the t-shirt material on the laser, we want it reversed so that the, the text and the images turn out the right way around. So remember, save both ways, pay attention in the assignment to which one you need to turn in.